they have this way of pacing their songs to be extremely heavy and intense, but not be at fast tempo. They have this way of kind of having this weight, this kind of push and pull, this ebb and flow that gives it this really emotive build. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Lone University. Today, we are back with more Ginger. Vortex was the top requested next song I do by Ginger. I reacted and analyzed Wallflower a few months ago, and you guys said I had to check out his bass playthrough of Vortex. This is also from the 2021 and most recent record, Wallflowers. So I'm excited to get into it. I loved everything I heard from Ginger. Eugene's a hell of a bass player. I'm excited to see another track, so let's get into it. Ginger, Vortex. Sounds like we're in F sharp. Down to F. Nice mid gain guitar riff. Looks like he's using the same bass, I think, from the Wallflower music video. And I think you guys told me this was a, a independent luthier, Stas, who used to be with part of Federa, if I'm remembering your comments right, but I love the look of this bass with the single cut. It sounds amazing as well. Nice little bass run there. Ooh, some chords. Thick. Low note. Love the chords. You know, there's only so many chords you can do on bass in that lower register, and when it's a root, a fifth, and an octave, it's going to sound thick and just with a little bit of rub due to the low register, and you can really accent these heavier guitar riffs with that. You know, you can't just play like a normal G chord on bass like you would on an acoustic guitar. This kind of rings out, but you can do the root fifth and octave and thicken up any riff. He's even kind of going down here. Sounds like he's getting a little low there. I love that he's flicking it with his fingers, incorporating it into the single lines. And just so far, he's going all over the neck, catching little melodies up top. This guy's my kind of player, just really exploring what can be possible with the bass and inside any of these heavy riffs and really just giving it that extra dimension. I wanna go back and kind of catch that moving part. I thought the note choices were really great. That's cool. And he's also got such relaxed technique, just very in control of what he's playing. Every move seems intentional. It's a very fluid motion. Again, he's going up and down the fretboard, catching these little guitar parts. And what I find interesting is that the guitars are doing this kind of ringing out melodic uh, extended chord kind of thing. You know, they're, they're not just playing like a like a, just a one, three, five minor chord. They're kind of voicing it with some upper level extended notes past the octave, giving it that really wide metal chord sound. But what Eugene on bass seems to be doing is that he's adding, he's taking those same notes the guitar's doing and adding a melody and bringing it up and catching the same notes as the guitar part. So what I'm trying to say is in essence, they're playing the same thing, just different octaves and different the way he's sliding in and out of the notes, I find it really interesting. I hope I explained that okay. But these big chords with lots of notes, and Eugene is just adapting him to a single line melody, and it kind of creates this almost counterpoint sound. You can kind of hear it right here. Really cool. Oh, that tone is so fat. What else do you say? Perfectly gritty, growly. Ooh. Getting a little risky there with the tritones in that low octave. It really adds some dissonance. So before he's kind of doing these, you know, root fifth octave power chords on bass. Now he's kind of doing uh, 
root tritone, octave tritone. Looks like he's doing all four strings. You can see on his fretting hand there. Yep, he is uh, one note per string. He's doing the, the devil's note there. And that adds a lot of dissonance. It's really thickening up. And you can kind of hear the song building. I talked a lot about this in the last Ginger video. I felt it. They're really good at slow burning these builds. And I had never heard Ginger when I did the last video. And it just erupted into this and complete explosion of heaviness and intensity. And gosh, this band is so good at just giving you that little, just slow burn. They're just adding little bits of tension. And I, I came into this video expecting that. And they are doing it right here. Tell by the way the drums are kind of adding a little bit more drive now. Ah, filthy. Oh, that's such a killer groove. It's just like the love that syncopation really giving the piece some footing starting off more melodic and again they're doing their their crazy good builds that they seem to be known for doing i heard it when i listened to pisces and again the last video they're, they're really masterful with this oh yeah throwing some slap in there i want to see if he was doing more than one pop there that looked really smooth Just kind of a rocking back and forth. Really good. Kind of like a slight key change, maybe. Going back to kind of F, kind of where they started. Okay, he's doing the same thing he did earlier here where it's like the guitar part is playing a chord with a tonic and root note and there's a lot of upper level stuff and it's like instead of favoring the lower end of the guitar chord like most bass players do, He's kind of catching the top end and just giving it this different dimension where the whole tonality of the progression favors those upper notes in the guitar chords. It's just a really interesting way of voicing guitar and bass parts. I haven't quite heard anything quite like that in a while. This is really well done. And again, he's thickening it up here. I want to go back just a little bit because there's a lot of little nuance in his playing that I feel like I kind of missed last time. You know, while I was editing and I was like, holy crap, I didn't even notice that while I was watching. So I want to make sure I get every little thing, but... Man, just, I love the control and the I don't, confidence in the right word, but just he knows how the bass can fit into its potential in any song I've heard him play so far. Just really, you know, using every tool possible to drive and support that guitar riff and still keep the progression weighty and not lose the foundation. You know, it's not like he's venturing way up here and sticking up here and you kind of you kind of lost that bottom end that you were used to, but he's, he's really good about going up here for a second and making sure he's catching those crucial foundation grooves it's just really really mesmerizing to watch his playing see didn't lose the groove there just went up and grabbed that little guitar tag riff I was looking to see if this was fan fret as well because I saw the bridge here. You can see that the scale length is technically a little different on every string. It gets longer for the lower string to retain that tension, but I'm not really seeing much fan fret. If it is, it's very slight. It's just kind of hard to see from this camera angle too. Um, but I would imagine he'd be playing a bass like that with this uh, lower tuning 
and it still has that fat, like very immediate response on the low string. It's not flubby, which is why you'd want to have a multi scale in you know to begin with. Right there, perfect example of that. Don't go when in and don't go when in and just keeping the root, keeping the groove, but just joining in with that guitar part. The little subtleties like that make these bass parts really pop. It's simple stuff, but I'm telling you, it's very effective. And it kind of just prescribes where you bob your head, you know? Love that little exaggerated slide. Oh yeah. Well, that was really great getting to know more a bit about Ginger and kind of getting my head around their writing style. I find it to be very unique. And I said in the Wallflower video, they have this way of pacing their songs to be extremely heavy and intense, but not be at fast tempo. They have this way of kind of having this weight, this kind of push and pull, this ebb and flow that gives it this really emotive build. And that's kind of the common thread I've seen on the three songs I've heard now, Pisces, Wallflower, and now Vortex. So I've done two tracks off of uh, Wallflowers. Let me know what earlier tracks I should do. I know there was a few requests for like Micro and Teacher Teacher or something like that, but Vortex... I saw the most, so I'm here with that today. My favorite takeaway from this video is that I didn't realize how intertwined the guitar and bass parts were because they sound like two independent parts, but the way they're intertwining them is pretty genius to me. He is kind of doubling some of those upper extension notes in the guitar chords, but with bass fills. So he's not making an intense effort, I'm going to double the guitar part. He's just kind of doing a bass fill every once in a while, and he's catching those notes the guitar might have been sustaining i just find it really uh, kind of like a sneaky counterpoint but it's not really counterpoint but just the way it all ebbs and flows around those really intense and emotive vocals it, they have a very unique sound i would love to see this band live i'm sure it's very intense and all of their songs don't just have this immediate payoff it kind of really makes you wait and join the build with them and that's kind of what i'm seeing about this band very cool stuff eugene's a heck of a player and again i feel like he is uh, exploring every option the bass could do for this style in each song. You know, he's going up here, he's doing slap. In the previous song, there's lots of tapping to support the guitar part. So very, very cool and very versatile player. I'm excited to see more. But for now, please like this video, comment what other ginger I should do or anything I haven't done yet. If you've requested something before and I haven't gotten to it, put it again below because the requests are piling up. I'm doing my best to tally them up and give the people what they want. And please make sure you are subscribed to the channel so you do not miss out. Thanks again for this request. Cheers. See you next time.